We're gonna get started here in a second. Segunda, in a segunda. So we were on Bonnie. Yeah, we? we were. So we should probably acknowledge the fact that somebody from the area actually what won a, a what Tony, a Tony Award. What a Tony. Are you kidding me? And Joe, you actually did stuff with this. Yes, I directed her in two shows, and then I was in a show that was... We you directed were, Bonnie Milligan? Yep. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. So you directed a Tony Award winner? I did, and I'm sure that is why she has won I'm a sure. Tony on I'm Broadway. I'm sure. I thought you said you were better than her. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I would never say that about Bonnie. She is amazing. I've, I don't know if you've ever heard her sing or... I have heard nothing. She, her, her term on Broadway is Bonnie the Belter. Oh, I s- <laughs> she's a amazing. You should look her up on YouTube. She's a belter. She's amazing. Well, I I did follow her on Instagram and tagged her in hopes that maybe she'll be like, who are these wieners? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> she is is not. I mean, she is as midwestern as you get. Good. I did see some interview with her where she was talking, and she she seems as humble as ever. She you is. Know, she is. Like you said, Midwestern and mm-hmm. never that the the Corn Belt never left her. That kind of thing. Uh, yeah, she moved here in high school. Uh, she lived in she lived in Archbold. Mm-hmm. Went to Archbold High School. That's amazing. And she was looking for theater to do, um, and I mean Archbold has a community theater, but right, yeah, they do a lot more plays, and she's a musical oh, did person. They? I didn't know that. And uh, so she came, and we had already cast Joseph. We had already cast mm-hmm. the show. Um, but uh, my narrator, Joy Lemke, was like, my friend, my friends just moved here from Illinois. Oh. Their daughter really wants to get into theater. And I was like, well, you know, we had at that time. Wants we to had, get into theater? So she was well, really young. She, she, no, she was doing musical theater camp, but she was trying to get into more theater, like do gotcha. more. And so I said, well, have her come along. And so she joined our, what was called the pit chorus. Because mm-hmm. I had people that wow. didn't, didn't really dance that great. And, but wanted, but were great vocalists, but wanted to be in Joseph, which in Joseph, you have to dance, you know, the entire yeah. time. So she uh, was in my pit chorus. So pit chorus is, for those not listening, are just people that are set off to the side and sing, aren't they? Right, right. She didn't even make any stage appearance? Well, so... Wow, I, well, you are a jerk. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she came after we had already cast it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So anyways, I was like, you know, we got to get some of these people in the pit, like Bonnie and a few others. Like, they're really good. We need to get them on stage. And so I was like... Those of you who don't want to dance in some of these numbers, I said, uh-huh. those of you who don't want to dance, why don't you just sit on the edge of the stage and, you know, bop back and forth? But I was like, the rest of you can get up here and dance. You know, so I got her on stage for that. <laughs> nice. And then we did uh, Grease, and she was my Frenchie. Frenchie? Yeah, she was Frenchie. Cool. And so I got to sing to her because I was also Teen Angel in that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then we did, uh, then Play Shop did Bye Bye Birdie, and I was Albert Peterson, and she was one of the, t- she was she was not the main teen, but she was one of the teens, you know, like Alice or Joni or whatever, you know. Bye Bye Birdie? Bye Bye Birdie, I yeah. mean, I don't know that show at all. Oh, it is. Not at all. Old and dated as you can, I mean, it is like. <laughs> I think it's a fun show. You think it's a fun show? Oh, yeah, like Gavin it. speaking. <laughs> all right, so we're here, we're here for uh, Mean Girls, and we're talking to Gavin and Annabelle, right? Yes. Thank you. Whew. 3B. And 3B with Joe Barton also. So we're yeah. here talking about it. So we're talking about a show that uh, we don't know, which was Bye Bye Birdie, to a show that I do know, which is uh, Mean Girls. Mean Girls, and I think a lot of people, like this movie was done already 20 years ago. Did you know that, Gavin? Mm-hmm. It's, my, it's my favorite movie. not work on the podcast, <laughs> just so you know. You actually... Favorite <laughs> yes. movie. Uh, yeah. There we it, go. It is my favorite movie. Mean Girls is my right. favorite Seriously? movie. Seriously? It is. It's how so iconic. It's so iconic. Well, uh, how? How are you guys even like... You weren't even born yet when this movie came out. So what's happening? I'm interested to know this too. Like I, I'm always like, how do you guys know this movie? Yes. How do you know this movie? Well, I think it was on Netflix long, long time ago. It's been off and on on Netflix for a few years now. And um, I think when I was probably around 12, it was on Netflix. And I think that was the first time I ever watched it. And But you it, just stumble upon it? I My sister introduced me oh, to yeah, it. Right, and right. then it's. It, I think... It's it always it has already always had a huge following. So. Has it got like a cult following now that I don't know about because I'm old? <laughs> and so when I'd it came out, because so. when it came out for me, I was young and hip and cool, <laughs> and I was actually too old to even still watch Mean Girls. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it was done by Tina Fey. So I was like, okay, yeah. well, I'm gonna watch this thing because Tina Fey wrote it. So. That's why I watched it. Well, I think it's a staple movie, and my mom was actually the one who introduced it to me. And she was kind of like, "This is one of the movies oh. you have to watch." Oh, so that's how that's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> that was your mom's like, <laughs> "You gotta watch this movie." Yeah, uh, 
That's funny to me. I'm like, Goonies, watch the Goonies, kids. Watch Back <laughs> to the Future. Watch Raiders of the Lost Ark. And your mom's like, Mean Girls. <laughs> That's funny to me. I just do. <laughs> but see that I think that's the difference between being a dude and being a lady. I think because maybe that was her, her jam back in the day. Then right? Because your mom's probably young too, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When it came out, I should say twenty years ago. When it came out twenty years ago, she was probably in her twenties. You might have to get her mom here to interview her about that. Yes, <laughs> to see if she's excited about it. Yeah, is your mom super excited that you're in the show then? Yes, she likes the movie a lot, so she's excited to come see it. She's probably like, no, you're playing who in the role in um, the show? Katie Heron. You're playing the main role. The you're Lin- playing Katie the Lindsay Lo- The Lindsay Lohan role. Come yes. on. So your mom is more than just a little excited. Then. Yeah, she's really excited. <laughs> She gets to live vicariously through you. Does she work in with you with the lines and knows all the movie by heart? And um, I've been working on the lines with my sister so far, oh. but I'm sure my mom would love to do it if I asked her. Ask her. Come on, be a good daughter. <laughs> yes. She's very supportive. How far into uh, rehearsals are you? Three weeks. Three yeah, weeks. three weeks. So in. Oh, you're only still in three pretty weeks. new. Janine's yes. just gotten through with you and now. Well, uh, Janine's not music oh, directing she's it. Not Kelly music. Fraley, who it's the summertime. She doesn't uh, do the summer. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't right. do the summer Kelly shows. Fraley, okay. Kelly Fraley's our music director, and then Bob, of course, is back. Yeah. For Kelly, his... I'm not familiar with Kelly. Where'd you find this person? Well, she uh, was be- has been at Otsego for the past two years. She, she okay. just recently resigned from Otsego, but she was at Otsego for two years, and she's fresh out of BG, young, smart, great dancer, great performer, and so it was like. It was like when she sent me an email, she's like, hey, if you are looking for a music director. Like fresh out of BGSU? Well, not like not like what, three or four years? Five years. Five years. Five, six years. Mm -hmm. So she's like 27? Yeah. So yeah, she's way closer to the kids age. (laughs) (laughs) So like if there's cultural references I don't get, I'm like, what does that mean? Like being fleek and stuff like that? Bob usually tells me in front of the kids, like, Joe, they don't watch that anymore. Or they don't, they don't know that. I'm like, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> You're so old, Joe. That's what he says right, right in front of everybody. I'm like grandfather age now for these kids. All right. So we, we've kind of <laughs> gone around the subject right now, though, but we're going to talk about what the show's about, please. So can, we, can, yeah, can somebody tell us we're what the show's about? We want spoil alerts. Yeah. yeah. We don't care. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Get people to come to the show who don't know the show. It's well, the show is about Katie, so I'll let Annabelle kind of take the take the reins there. Um, okay, so Katie is a girl who um, has been homeschooled her whole life, and she was living in Africa, but she moves to Chicago and goes to high school for the first time, and it's a big culture shock for her. And the slightly, whole, yeah, <laughs> the whole musical is about her kind of trying to find her place to fit in but she falls into a group of girls who are the mean girls the plastics <gasps> the mean girls she said it the, pl- <laughs> <laughs> the plastics, plastics. Yes. yeah that's a great that's a great line and she kind of ends up changing herself to fit the narrative that she thinks everyone wants her to be and that that doesn't work out great oh is that but the whole story there's there's basically, a lot more yeah, but yeah. that's basically she had it in a nutshell now does gavin come in and straighten you out well, so He's my, a ringleader. <laughs> my character, Damien, um, is kind of uh, Damien and uh, Janice, who's playing Yeah, you got a great part, Maggie man. Titus. Your part's great. <laughs> um, oh, Maggie Titus is playing yes. Janice? Janice. Yes. I know her. Yeah, we know Maggie. <laughs> I like saying that on I know her. People I know. <laughs> when she wins the Tony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. But she, So she's playing Janice, and yes. you, you have a great part, dude. Oh, thank you. I, sh- so Damien and Janice are the first people that... Katie kind of make friends with Mm -hmm. when she comes to high school in this new world. They come up with the the genius idea to make Katie hang out with the plastics Mm. and kind of sabotage their lives because they don't like the plastics, Mm. uh, Damien and Janice. So the plastics are the mean old bees in the school. They're the ones who go. So for, so for people who are older, it's like Heather's, the movie Heather's, where there's the yes. mean group of, of girls that go around and ruin everybody else's life. So this is like the next generation. So this is how old we are. So Heather's was our mean girls, right? Right, Joe? Right. Yes. So Heather's was our mean girls, and it's kind of like the same premise where you're in this school and you have these this group of uh, girls who are not all very nice. But it's generally just one ringleader mm-hmm. who's the nastiest yes. of all of them. The other yes. girls are more... Go along with it, right? Yes. Gotcha. So you guys come up with a plan, you said, to... So there's different um, kind of tricks and schemes that Janice and Damien (laughs) come up with to make Katie 
for one instance, she um, sabotages her uh, two of the girls' friendships Mm -hmm. in the plastics, uh, Regina and Gretchen. And so they come up with this plan to sabotage their friendship to make Gretchen crack and spill all of Regina's secrets gotcha. so that to that kind of ruins their friendship. Now let's talk about your character because your character is awesome. So tell me when you auditioned for the show, this is the role you wanted, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I, of course. Yes. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's like amazing in the show. He's got this song that he sings. You want to tell us about that song and what it is? There's a few songs. Yes. The um, main cool song though. This is what I'm talking about. You know what it is. Oh, yes. Stop. That is, Stop. That That's is the one. Yes. a great song. I love that song. Very funny. Um, very catchy if I do oh, say so myself. Exactly. It's like um, 17 minutes long, too, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a pretty long great. song. Um, I, I actually, when I was in eighth grade, I had seen Mean Girls on Broadway. Get out of town. Uh, original cast. What? I fell in love with the show. And I told myself I would love to play Damien someday. That would be such a dream. So obviously you already knew what the show was going in. Like you said, yes. you were you were introduced to it by your sister yes. earlier. And yes. then in the eighth grade, you got to go to New York City and your parents yes. were like, pick a show. And you said, well, I already know. Oh, yeah. Or did you go I, there specifically oh, for that? Well, it was kind of like a kind of a, a trip uh, between my dad and I. Nice. We, he's like, oh, let's go see a few shows. And I knew instantly I wanted to see Mean Girls because yeah. I've loved the movie. Let's for go see a so few long. shows. We uh, we saw best dad ever. <laughs> I know, I know, it was <laughs> I mean, pretty honestly. awesome. But um, I seen Mean Girls was so amazing, and yeah. it's so crazy to think this is kind of like a full circle moment. And, and for it's me. and it was the original cast too. It was that doesn't was. happen either. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. So when you when you heard the soundtrack and then you went and saw the show, you were like, "Oh my god, I'm listening to the soundtrack it's only so, live." It's so strange to think about yeah. that. I I'm seeing the people that I listen to in the car all the time. Right. It's crazy. I'm having a kind of a geeky moment right now too because because <laughs> I, I saw Beetlejuice and it was oh, a whole, yes. it was the original yes. cast except mm-hmm. for the girl who plays Lydia and I was like, "Oh my god, mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. is the same people." Yeah, I was, I'm kind of a dork that way. So <laughs> if I had a dad, it was going to take me to go see three shows. I'd be like, "Yes, please sign me." Up. Yes, yes. <laughs> but that song he gets to sing, "Stop," is just amazing. Stop. It's I. It's a great song. It's a part in the show where um, Katie kind of she she has infiltrated the group, but now she has kind of become part of the group, right? And she doesn't really realize it yet. And so this song kind of tries to get her to snap and pay attention. Like, hey, this is. This is not what Tries we're to about. Stop her. Yes. <laughs> stop. Hence the name of the song. Stop being yes. a dummy. Yes. Yeah. So you do you ever get to leave the stage, Annabelle? Uh, and since you were playing Katie, who also gets called Caddy by Damien. Yes. <laughs> um, I do sometimes, but for the most part, it's a role that's on the stage a lot. Yeah. I was saying, like, it, right from the beginning, you're on the stage. But actually, you're on the stage too, aren't you? There's a as Damien isn't he open the show up? Yes, him, him and uh, Janice and Janice Damien open, open the, the show. show. Yeah, I, again, I'm basing this all off the soundtrack that I listen to. <laughs> well, and Janice and uh, Africa, yeah. Africa. Ja- uh, Janice and Damien kind of also serve as the narrators mm-hmm. to the audience. Oh, they break okay. the, they break the fourth wall quite a bit. And okay, like directly huh. talk to the audience about certain things that are happening. Whereas all that gets left no out one of the else. No one so. else really breaks the fourth wall. It's really just those two. But right? it doesn't. It doesn't open in the jungle. You're not in Africa. Yes, it does. It, it does, does open in the jungle. Okay. It's got the two but it's not the jungle. It's, it's the, the savanna. It's the yeah. Wild Thornberry's family. It is, is just the wild Thornberry family. Yeah. Is it because okay. aren't there her parents are? Like They're biologists. Biologists Biologist. studying the animals out Do you, in. The, does in your the character African have safari? any special skills? Because you grew up in Africa and. Like you're good with yeah. a whip or something. <laughs> a boomerang. Something to fight off. Yeah, boomerang. Probably. I don't right? know. Um, well, Katie is really smart because she was homeschooled by her parents, so I oh. think she got a lot of one-on-one teaching. And there's a whole song about how she's really good at math, and she's able to take um, AP Calculus as a junior in the show, and that's that's where she meets her love interest, Aaron. But she's not allowed to be there. That's not what cool kids do, <laughs> in being cal- a nerdy calculus, calculus class. Yeah. No offense to the calculus kids out there right now. <laughs> well, but that's, the, well, that's point, a twist, right? though, is because exactly. that, yeah, she is smart, and then... To get the boy, she has to play dumb. It's a, it's another way that she has to ch- she changes in this show. Like oh. she changes socially 
because of Regina. You know, ah. she, she becomes the new Regina, basically. Regina, mm-hmm. Regina, Regina. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened and then, to the soundtrack it's a, a lot. It's a fabulous Like, soundtrack. she's being tutored by her boyfriend when she's probably smarter than her, than Aaron, you know. Oh, yeah. yes. Because, I mean, no, again, your parents are scientists. Mm-hmm. And they homeschooled you, so it's not like you were homeschooled by a couple of doofuses. <laughs> you know, these these people are very smart, science and math. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. So, oh boy. So I've, what what's the what's the message that we'll take when we go see this show? Oh, oh, I think this show has uh, creates a lot of commentary on um, social powers and mm. just the way we treat people, especially in a part of a person's life that is probably the hardest socially mm. high school is high school. very, very difficult socially. You're figuring out who you are. You're figuring out your real friends. And so you really see that play out in the show stereotypes and friend groups and social differences that you might see in high school. And overall it's about how we treat each other in these social constructs through high school. Yeah. I think there's this really um, like feminist ideal presented mm-hmm. that, Girls, instead of tearing each other down or competing with each other, should come together and support each other. Ah. Well, there's, a, there's a whole scene in Act Two about that. So, yes. yeah. Is it, do you feel like it's an exaggerated version of what high school is, though, or do you think high school is actually like that? Oh, it's a musical. It's gonna be exaggerated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? But but it's so it's not that bad in high school right now. Um, I mean, yeah, I, high <laughs> high school is is difficult. Yeah. Um, I mean, not everything might not be, it, it creates a rough understanding of how it may seem to a high schooler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I say all the time, it's like the only thing that a lot of these kids have in common is that they're in the same age group. Right. It's like you take all these kids that are from all these different backgrounds, different families, different belief systems, and you shove them all into one room just because they're the same age. And then you expect them all to get along. That's not practical. Amen. That's not going to happen. I mean, they're all going to be different. So surprise, surprise, people can be jerks to each other. Mm -hmm. And then you throw in the fact that your hormones are going at that point in time, too. And it's just it's just a And I know it's like that may sound cliche about the hormones being an old fart over here. (laughs) But it's true. It is true. At that point in time, you are still developing your your coatings on your neurons to be able to handle mm -hmm. situations. What they do, it also touches on to how so because we obviously we're of a certain age of the three of us. Mm hmm. We didn't have Not Ron. He's extra old. Well, <laughs> we didn't have to deal with social media when we were right. in high school. Good point. Good point. Social media was, you know, what people wrote in your yearbook. You know, yes. you know the pictures we had to go get developed. So this, and we they got do back. social media yeah. in this show. Oh, yeah, oh, like yes. they have, there's a yes. whole there's a whole scene about social media and like. Okay, because this know, is a posting. twenty-year-old show. There was no cell phones on. Okay. Well, so they you'd, like I said, they've updated. It's not set in two thousand. It's set in two thousand seventeen. Oh, so okay. when they wrote, when they actually wrote the musical, gotcha. So Tina Fey went in, changed some of the stuff to make sure it yeah. fits mm-hmm. a little bit modern. Mm-hmm. So there's a modern. whole scene about social media because when at the end of Act One, when Regina loses her skirt during the Christmas number, Whoa. you know everyone's taking pictures. Oh my gosh! You oh, know, okay. and yeah. it's on social media, and then you know she's because. Uh, Annabelle's character Katie has been given her calteen bars. She's also gaining weight, and she can't what? get it. You're a yes. mean girl. She Bush. becomes a <laughs> mean girl. Yeah, Janice, does. Janice, and Damien almost created this this monster. monster. Oh, yeah, yes. she does a lot of bad stuff oh. too. And o- old movie reference, but Damien was the name of the devil's son in the movie Oma- Omen. So just <laughs> throw that out there. <laughs> the movie you've no probably question. never seen or know about, but his name is Damien, so it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, so social media plays a big part in the show too. So, you know, so normally where I'm like, turn your cell phones off, don't have them on stage. You know, they have to have their cell phones out. Oh wow! And using them through the, throughout the show, it's part of the show. Awesome! So you guys can take selfies on stage. They could. <laughs> you should could. please do yeah, yeah. take some selfies <laughs> yeah. while you're actually on stage because it's part of the show, and then and then I, post them on your media account. <laughs> I thought Nicole Navarre did that in the one the the. Legally Blonde. Legally Blonde. Did she do she that did, too? Yeah. See, yeah. 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 There you go. You just take a selfies on there and post them in the middle of the show. In the Joe, of the show. Joe won't care. <laughs> and even at rehearsal, they get to have their phones out messing yeah. around. He's well, a, I mean, you're a whole new man, Joe. <laughs> yeah. You're a whole new man. <laughs> Holy cow. Because you would have murdered everybody. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, nah. years ago when I first, you know, when the cell phones first came out, I was at Springfield, you know, and I would be like, and I would, I, you, we had a box and I made all the kids put their cell phones <laughs> in the box because they weren't, they were so engrossed in their phones. Yeah. yeah. They weren't listening, you know. Now, 
I feel like the kids are just so used to having their phones mm-hmm. now. It's not as big a yes. thing. And now it's also when there's time for them to like hang out and do something when I'm working with like leads or certain scenes or whatever, I'm, I literally say, get on your cell Keep phone. Keep quiet. Do something quiet. <laughs> you used to yell at kids for talking. Now, yeah. you're uh, now get on nuts. there and play your Clash of Clans quietly, please. You know, that kind of thing. It's so what happens to the mean... Well, you're a mean girl. You become a mean girl. And then you... Become less mean? Become less... Do you have a breakdown and... Well, well there's a series of bad things that happen to Katie, mm. and it's kind of the climax of the show. Um, the boy that she likes... Oh, yeah, of, we haven't even talked about the yeah. boy yet. What? Who yeah. is this dude who's playing him? Uh, his name is Aaron Samuels, and it's played by Ben Tittle. Ben Tittle, okay. Mm-hmm. And so there's this moment where she tells him that she's been faking being mad, bad at math the whole time. And then he does not like that and is not there for that. Surprise, and surprise. He doesn't like being lied to. <laughs> no. Oh. So he gets really upset. And then there's a run in with Damien and Janice that happens after mm-hmm. that. And then Regina posts the burn book. And oh, she Katie. is. So Katie is just screwing everything yes. up. And then actually, um, Katie is accused of pushing Regina in front of the bus that hits her. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, well, <laughs> So a lot of bad things happen. Is that an in a offstage series. thing? <laughs> no, no. Okay. We, have, and we have to figure that out. Like oh, Jesse okay. and I have to figure out how are we going to hit Who's Regina with a the bus? bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing the bus? The bus yeah. So one of the things that I noticed, Joe, that you did that I do not see anybody ever do is when you posted the cast list with the names yes. on it. You posted the schools that they went to. Yeah, because I think it's yeah. very unique to three B. Is that you know we always end up with like. I think the lowest we've ever had is like 14. This year is like 20 something different schools. 20 high yeah. schools. I, I didn't even count yet, but I know it's, it's literally over 20. We I saw that and I said, Joe's doing that something. as a point of pride. He's yeah. pointing out that <laughs> well, this I is love a... that the, I love that our theater community, yeah. of, because I mean, Toledo is an anomaly. It really, right. it truly it is an anomaly. Mm-hmm. Toledo yes. is an anomaly. Literally every school you can go to, private and public in Toledo, except for maybe exception of a few, have a huge theater program. Yes. A lot of them, yes. Do, yes. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, because I, mean, I mean, obviously through Okta, I'm kind of I'm connected with so many people in the state, and they're always like, you know, because our kids win best of show every year. We go to Okta, they win eh, best of show, best of show, best of show. <laughs> and you know, when then when when the rep went, they won best of show. And I said it's because our theater scene and our high school theater scene in Toledo is so strong. We have it so is. many great, really good directors. That's um, true. That's you know, true. And and people want to do the choreographers, mm-hmm. you know, we music directors, and people want to stay involved a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a point of pride that like, you know, that we, right now there are probably like four high school musicals going on in this area right Teen now. Teen shows. Teen shows. Yeah. You know, and like every cast is made up of a hugely diverse um, student base, you know, like, yeah, you know, PMT, they have, a, you know, their leads are from all over our show. Our leads are from all over. Where are you uh, from, Annabelle? Where do you go to school? I go to Notre Dame. Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Oh, okay. And, and Gav? I go to Otsego. Otsego. Yes. See, so right here we got two people like Otsego uh, has got a, a nice program out there that I follow you guys on Instagram. And cast has a lot of BG students. Yeah, a lot of BG students. BG's our biggest uh, biggest one this year, which is weird because... That's weird. Yeah. yeah. yeah just last year it was Whitmer. You know, like, and now I have no Whitmer kids in the ca- in the cast. You know, so it's like... Anthony oh, that's Wayne weird. A lot of yeah. Anthony Wayne when my kids were younger. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony Wayne's Wayne. a big... Well, obviously because we're out in Waterville. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, Waterville mommy. And I used to get a ton of mommy kids, not so much anymore, but I, I, it's... Go just, it's so cyclical. Like, but, yeah. yeah. All these three or four teen shows, and you still could cast a full cast, and yeah. every show, every one of those shows is going to be. I'm sure oh, yeah. amazing. <laughs> I'm sure you're amazing. <laughs> you're a cat, for goodness sakes. I'm sure you're great. Yeah, well, and, her, she, and then in the fall, she's already been cast as. Uh, I, I about called you Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> she's been cast as Ariel for Notre Dame. Yeah. Get the, oh, my get the goodness. fudge out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, you wow. must be good then. You're yeah. right. Okay. I can't wait to hear <laughs> you singing then. Are you going to give us a little taste right now? Right now? No. no, no I'm not going to make you. You'll have to come spot. to the show for that. Uh, yeah. Come to the show. <laughs> you want to hear us. Come to the and show. And what happens at the end to the mean girls? Do they repent or are they learn a lesson? One's get hit by a bus. One gets hit by a bus. <laughs> well, the one difference between the movie and the musical is in the musical... Do it's, we want to give everything away? Yes, yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a bow moment, like a, you know they put the bow on the end because at, at the end, all the mean girls disperse and become uh, integrated into other groups. You know, Janice and Damien and Katie are all friends again. Katie wins the boy, but you know in the uh, but in the muse and the movie they then show that one scene with 
a whole new group of plastics. You know, we don't oh. we, we don't get that in the musical. Oh. But there's a you know it's so it's 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 kind of cyclical because it's like that those three were dethroned as, yeah. as, as, as the head of the <laughs> social hierarchy at North Shore High, but you know, then there's another group that kind of rises to the top. So we don't get that in the musical. The musical is a very happy ending. It, very good. It, so you got Bob. Bob's doing the dancing. Mm-hmm. Bob's doing all the choreography. Who's doing like other stuff in the show? Like who's who's a superstar right now in your three re- three weeks of rehearsals that you had? <laughs> they're, they're all superstars. I know, but yeah. name someone because I like to make sure that people get their shout outs here and there. So if you could think of anybody, we shout them Maggie, out. Maggie and then. Well, you said Maggie. Already, Maggie, yeah. yeah, Maggie's fat. Was and, it Aaron? And then Aaron's, Aaron's playing uh, the love interest. He's got dreamy hair. Mm-hmm. He should. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the part, a big part in the show. You got to sniff his hair. So, mm-hmm. um, I mean, I think all the kids are doing uh, really uh, so far. I mean, we you know, like the read through was hilarious, and oh, the, the script is really funny. I mean, that's the see, that's is the very, thing. Are you having funny. a blast? Oh yeah. Yes. See, so that's much what fun. You didn't even hesitate, Joe. So you must be doing an okay <laughs> job directing them. But that's the, this show is a fun. Show it is yeah. so fun. and it's the and it's the first time happening in yeah. the area. Tell us yeah, about we're, that. So we're the Northwest Ohio premiere. Um, it has been done in other places in Ohio, but like uh, we're the first ones in this area, yeah. this general area. You don't care about other places. So right? Northwest Ohio premiere, which is kind of what we used to be known for back in the day. Like yeah. we were the first ones to get Les Mis, and we were the first ones to get you know other shows. And so it's nice to be the first ones to do it. Although I would, I, I say this a little tongue in cheek because I think. A lot of high schools might have to pass on this show. I know that's another great thing about what you are able to do as mm-hmm. a community theater in the group. summer. Yeah, mm-hmm. because a lot of sh- schools will not do this show. Right, no. and if they do it, I don't even know what version—the junior version, maybe <laughs> well, that they'll probably come out with. Our, ver- our version is the high school version, and right. the kids can probably tell you. It's not very high school it's, version-esque. It can get pretty, pretty <laughs> racy yeah. there. So right? even okay. the high school version that somehow they said this is good enough for high schools is still not mm-hmm. really it, they a lot of the language is still there you know give me a language mm. <laughs> oh no they're that beep. bad <laughs> beep. i don't remember on, any language no. in the show yeah well there's there's language there's mm-hmm. yeah to me you know even though i'm kind of liberal but like even to me i'm like i'm not i don't know if i'm comfortable with some of this <laughs> but you know it's the way the way it's written I, you join the blocking i'm like i didn't write it i didn't, <laughs> I didn't write, write it. it i didn't write this this is i'm just the director i just picked the show and everybody in the cast but i didn't write it <laughs> so and we you know we really haven't talked about maybe line Blame changes Tina as Faye. much yet but you know like there might be have to be some changes of a few mm-hmm. lines here or there but as long as the kids are comfortable with with the uh, with what, what's been written well, they, they did send us an extra like you can change this word to this, mm. or you can change this. But this to is this. good, though. This is good. This the, what you're doing, though, is allowing um, high school students to be able to perform a show that won't be allowed to be performed at Notre Dame. More than right, like, yeah. Elsie. Yeah. I don't think we would do this show. Yeah, see, so you. Get yeah, to I don't do want to speak show. for Matt. I don't want to speak for Matt, but, but Mr. Kazula. But that, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's a Notre Dame type show. Right. I'll be honest with you. I don't. I wouldn't say it's probably most. I think TSA probably, not, probably could tackle yeah. it. Yeah, they're they're pretty racy sometimes when they do shows. But yeah, that's what I wanted to bring out. Though. I wanted to point out that you guys have this all star cast of people come from all these different schools putting on a show that can't normally maybe be performed at every school out there. So you are providing this opportunity for them to be able to do these things. I think that's really cool. How did you get Mean Girls? Was it a crooked road to get to Mean Girls? Uh, Well, uh, actually, so everybody knows this story. We tried to get Mamma Mia last year. We had gotten the rights to do Mamma Mia. Mm. And then they pulled the rights just as we were at auditions because a national tour was forming. Mm. So we then switched to Beauty and the Beast really quick. And so this year I applied for Mamma Mia really early. And I got the I got the denial really early, I, <laughs> so I got it a lot earlier. And so we went back to the I mean we went back and forth between um, Bob and I. We kept on going back and forth because this was before Kelly had jumped aboard. So Bob and I were going back and forth, and um, I so I applied for both uh, Anastasia because it can only be done by high school. Right, it's not kids. available for it's full, not available for adults blown, yet. Yeah. And I and then Mean Girls High School version had just been released, and so mm-hmm. I said. I said, I don't know if we'll get it. So I said, I'll apply for both. And I got the acceptance letter for Mean Girls the day before Anastasia. And as soon as I got Mean Girls, I'm like, well, that's what we're doing. All right. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you, yeah, you got to do it. You got to do the one that nobody else has done yet. Right. Well, yeah, because Anastasia has yeah. been done a lot. Nah, nah, in, nah, in nah, nah, Northwest nah. Ohio. Are you going to? Has it been done a lot in Northwest? 
I mean, I, I know think, TSA I, did it I just know, like, recently, I think but like before at least that, three schools have done it. I think. Oh, I didn't see anybody else doing it, but like I, I know Defiance did it. Uh, TSD did it, and there's another school that did it. I can't remember. And if it was that. in Defiance, that's probably why I don't. So know. yeah, that's why we did Mean Girls right away because it was like. I wanted us to be the first ones to be able to do it. And then I got all these like from different direct, I won't name names, but a lot of different directors, you know, cause I'm friends with most of the directors in this area. They were sending me like messages like, thank you for doing it because we are not allowed to do it at our show and our <laughs> kids are begging to do it. And so it's like, are you I, taking it to Okta? A junior, Okta junior. We, we kind of put it on the form. I haven't really formally asked the kids if they want to do it yet or not, but I hope we can take it because I think, you I know, we'll so do too. well. Yeah, you guys gotta take it. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah. Get, get rile up your your crew of, of students. The out crazy, there and, the crazy thing is, it. what part would we take? Because you know we're only t- allowed to take a part of it, yeah. and the whole show is so good. It's like, what part do we take? Maybe yeah, the it's part so hard. The scenes aren't so. Yeah, and there are, it's and very that's, that's another thing. I'm, I'm glad Gavin brought. There are no scenes in the show. It is seamless. So oh. you just, it goes from, literally. And when you said that about, does she ever get off the stage? They never get off the stage because it literally goes. Like it's so you have so to change cyclical. in the wings, basically strip off in the wings, strip back oh, yeah. on in the wings. Yeah. She has an on stage change. Yeah. Oh, really? What do you change it from? Um, well, there's actually two. One, um, Damien's oh, yes. character, we switch a pink shirt um, off of him onto me, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another change where I'm in um, a scary Halloween costume. It's like oh. a zombie bride look, and they actually rip it off of me to reveal a plastic look underneath. So like oh. a mini skirt and mm. a cute top. Something you're going to get too cold in the AC on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there is no such thing as too cool in the mommy indoor. Right, that that right. place is oh, always hot. hot. When's the show, Joe? It is, oh gosh, <laughs> July. July 13th to the 16th. I have so 16th. many things going on in my life. July, yeah. 13th to the 16th. July 13th to the 16th at the Mommy Indoor Theater. Yes. Tickets, can we buy tickets right now? Yep, tickets are All already right. live. Area. And we've already sold like 250 tickets already. So oh. area premiere. We have, you know, 1,400 more to go. So please 1,400 more tickets to go? <laughs> so there's plenty of tickets. And well, we not... saw, you know, we're doing four shows and 400 a night. So we have 1,600 available. Okay. Well, so, don't wait too long, though, because the, the teen shows sell Oh, yeah, the teen shows fast. always sell well. So I just got done saying, oh, there's plenty, but there won't be plenty soon. So let's not wait yeah. too long to get these out there. Please don't wait till the night of and text me that you couldn't get a ticket, because that's <laughs> what I always get. Like, yeah. you're sold out, I can't get in. I'm like, oh, we've, they've been live for two months. So yes, and we, and we that has happened for 3B shows in the past, where right. it's like, there's no seats. We don't know what yeah. to tell you. And some of these shows in the past have been really, really popular and... And people want to go see them. So hopefully you guys have a really, really popular show. And all your friends and families all so come too. and see you. And <laughs> and uh, and the great thing about having so many schools involved is, you know, like, you know, that also gets all the yeah. friends yes. and, you know, like yeah. a lot of different school bases to come in. So, you know, that's what the hope is, is to, you know. You're going to have a lot of directors come and look at the show probably, too, since it's the first one. So. Prob- probably. Prob- well, they're probably going to come watch it and see if they are able to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. also true. Cool. I think that's it. Thanks yeah. for coming on. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Yeah, I think everybody should know what the show is about now. When the show is, how to get yes. the tickets, good to go. Yeah, I mean, as like like anything, you just go to our website, three bproductions dot org. Uh-huh. You know, three bproductions dot org, and you know it'll say buy here. We there do have a new ticketing system. It's called Hometown Ticketing. Okay. And um, it makes it easier just to you know purchase tickets, pick your seats, the whole yeah. the whole. Oh, you roll. pick your seats too now. You pick your seats. You got pick your seats. You can do it oh, all man. now. I know we've moved up from seat oh my yourself. Gosh, oh my gosh! Oh, yeah, I used to that, show up uh, I show forty-five yeah. minutes early just so I can get a front. Seat. Try to get a seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah you but, can go on the little thing and you can choose the seat you want. And you know, if you want to buy extra seats so you don't have to sit by anyone you don't oh. like, <laughs> totally encourage that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to buy extra seats just because? Please do. You hey, know? as long as they're sold, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool, cool. All right, thanks for coming on, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having yeah. us. Thank you for having Bye. us. 